welcome back today i came up with this look this look is dedicated to my nigerian brothers and sisters out there happy independence brothers and sisters i created this look for our independence day hope you guys like it and if you do please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and if you want to know how i came up with this look then please keep on watching bro, 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 bro it up <laughs> Start twerking like Molly Oh yeah Twerking like Molly Alright guys, we're going to start off with the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsession Palette. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Guys, just take a moment to look at this. So guys, I've already defined my brows off camera and what I use in defining my brows is the Carbon Deep Precision Pencil in the shade Medium Brown and Dark Brown. I've done my base and what I use for my base is the Urban Decay Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. Now taking the dark green shade from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. Now that we've laid down that shade, I'm now going in with the light green shade to blend this out. I'm just basically mixing the light shade and the green shade together just to blend out the first shade we applied. What I do, I first of all stamp the shade after stamping the shade before I blend it out. Now that we're done, we've lost the intensity of that green, so I'm going back in that green to reinforce the shade. Now going in with the Jacqueline Hill palettes, picking up that dark green shade which is called Diva, using my Morphe M507 brush to do that. Concentrating on the inner and on the outer V, then sweeping it together. Now after packing on that dark green shade from the Jacqueline Hill palette, all you want to do is to diffuse the lines with the same brush. Don't press the brush too hard to your skin. Now I want to go in to cut my crease. Wait. So guys, after cutting my crease, I'm going in with this Inglot eyeshadow in the number 76. Now going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio eyeshadow in the shade 01 Snow White. I'm just stamping this on. Now taking a very small brush which is the Morphe E36 to pick up the dark green shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Applying that to my outer V and to my inner corner. Now taking the green shade from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. From the same Huda Beauty Emerald Obsession palette, I'm taking that light green shade. Now taking the dark green shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I really want that line to be crisp. Now going in with the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Dr. M. I'm using that as my liner. The mascara I'll be using for today is the Lancome Grinders Extreme Mascara. The lashes I'll be using for today is the Lily Lashes in the style Mekonos. Now guys, I really want this part to be really white. So, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner in the shade Bump. When you're done, just use your finger and tap it so it can blend with the other shades. Since we're done with the eyes, let's move on to the face. I'm using the Micellar Water by Garnier to wipe out the fallout. The primer I'll be using for today is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer.
The foundation I'll be using for today is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Toffee 420G. And I'll be mixing that with the Cover FX Custom Hunter Drops. This is in the shade Sunlight. To blend this out, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Face Buff and Blend Brush. To cream contour my face, I'm going in with the iconic London multi-use contouring set. Now going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. And to set my face, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Using the Huda Beauty Face Bake and Blend Brush. Before we go further, let's finish up with the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Emirate Obsessions Palette, picking up that green shade. Now blending this out with the light green shade from the Huda Beauty Palette. Now taking the dark green shade from the Jaclyn Hill Palette, applying that to my waterline. From the Huda Beauty Emirate Obsessions Palette, I'm taking that shimmery shade right there. This is a very beautiful shade. And I'm going to use my Fix Plus to apply that to my inner corner. Applying a little bit of that on my brow bone. Now apply my mascara. Now apply falsies on my lower lash line. Now it's time to dust off the powder and complete the rest of the face. Wow guys, I must say this palette is very beautiful. It's well pigmented. The shades are lovely honestly it's worth the price i think you guys should give it a try i love this to set my cream contour areas i'm going in with the iconic multi-use contouring set this is a powder contour and i'm taking the shade sculpt and define using my makeup forever straight and wavy 158 brush to do that Alright guys, you guys know the drill. Before I go in with my highlighter, I like to go in with my setting spray. And the setting spray I'm using for today is by MAC Fix Plus. The highlighter I'm using for today is the L'Oregula in the shade Gilded Honey. The lipstick I will be using for today is the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Dr. M. Now going in with the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner in the shade Bomb. Guys, I forgot to apply my blush and the blush I'm using for today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio taking the shade Velvet. Now 
Now going in with the Fenty Beauty Lip Topper. Now to finish up this look, I'm going in with the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade number 3 Dark. Using my iconic London brush to do that. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this look. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. This makeup is dedicated to my country. Happy Independence, brothers and sisters! <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching and I would love to see you on my next video. Bye dolls!